Well, hi, Debbie C. Uh, welcome to another Pastors Chat. I'm here this afternoon with Pastor Adam. You want to say hi? Hi, guys. Yeah. And uh, we just wanted to chat briefly uh, about what we call our vision and commitment email uh, that all DPC regulars uh, should have received by now. Uh, Adam, can you just unpack briefly what exactly is in that vision and commitment email? Yeah, so it's an email uh, from Aaron. Now he's written it to our to our church, uh, explaining what our vision and commitment sort of focus at this time of year is about. Um, and then attached to that email is our proposed budget for next year. Uh, there's also a link there uh, to the generous giving form, which we're asking people to fill in and. Um, kind of make some plans about how they're going to use their time, talents and treasure next year. Uh, also is an updated, uh, informa some in updated information from our church mission and mercy partners. And finally, a frequently asked questions section. It's always helpful to have some FAQs. Uh, now, if you are unable to find that email, maybe it's kind of lost in your inbox somewhere, uh, you can actually access it on Alvanto as well. Uh, there's a, a link on our welcome page on the church website. There'll be a link there for a few weeks. Uh, also, the link is in the description of this YouTube video. And the generous giving form is linked in the description there as well. So you can click on those two things. Uh, so that's what's in the email attached to it. But, but Aaron, why do we have this vision and commitment focus each year around this time? Yeah, good question. Uh, well, it's in, in, I guess two, for two big reasons. One is so that we can uh, have a particular point in our year where we take stock and look back and give thanks for all the wonderful things that God has been doing in and through our church. Uh, but second, so that we can have a particular point in the year where we look forward to the new year uh, and recognise that the work of the gospel continues on until our, until our Lord Jesus returns. Uh, there are more people that we would love to see come to know Jesus more people that we'd love to see grow in their relationship with Jesus. Uh, and so at this point each year where we like to talk about what our plans and visions for that um, great mission are for the next 12 months, uh, and we ask each regular in our church to consider what commitments they would like to make with regard to their time and talents and treasure in particular, uh, with regard to helping us achieve that mission, uh, that vision for the next 12 months. So that, that, that's kind of, I guess, where it fits in terms of uh, our overall church calendar. Uh, so I guess with that in mind, Adam, what, what exactly are we asking people to do in response to that email they've received? Well, the first thing to do is to, to open it and read it. Uh, we'd love you Good to start. read, yeah, we'd love you to read Aaron's email uh, and the attachments. Uh, and then once you've read it, we'd like you to pray about the what you've read and uh, the information in there. And, and then to prayerfully fill in the generous giving form, that, that Google form, we'd love you to do that. And it'd be great if you could do it by the 22nd of November. Uh, that gives kind of Rob, our treasurer, and others time to collate some of the information and prepare that for our meeting that will happen the following week on Sunday, November 29th. Uh, it's going to be after church. Uh, details are in Alvanto on our welcome card. And that'll be a Zoom meeting to make it easy for people to access. And so everyone's welcome to that. We'd, we'd love to see you there uh, for that meeting. Awesome. Uh, so if you've got any questions about the whole vision and commitment process or any of the specific documents, uh, please do read the frequently asked questions first. Uh, and if you've still got questions, then by all means, get in touch with me. We'd love to chat. See you soon for our next pastor's chat. See ya.